Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty videos. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you're already part of the fam, ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. So Lou has been unleashed and once I've been unleashed, I can't stop. <laughs> So we are doing a Lush haul today. Now, this isn't a brand I've featured on my channel, but in terms of hauls, but you guys know I do shop at Lush. I've included a few of their stuff in my empties videos. So I'm coming at you with none other than a Lush haul. Brace yourselves because the box is massive. <laughs> so I'm gonna get into it and I will just show you guys everything I got. So Lush released 54 new bath bombs as well as other products for their 30th year anniversary since their first ever bath bomb. So I had to get some. <laughs> if you don't know, Lush is an amazing company. Lush does mainly bath bath time, shower time products. They mainly, they started off with bath bombs, they now do shower bombs, shower gels, products like that, all those kind of things. Fun goodness, so just soaps, bath things. They do cosmetics, they did do a foundation, they've started branching out more. But yeah, so shampoos, that kind of stuff. They are cruelty free, they're vegan, they're honestly amazing company. All the stuff in their bath bombs, all the glitters, biodegradable, it's not made from plastic. Um, the packaging and I will show you it's honestly fantastic like in the box it comes with these packing peanuts these packing peanuts are made from like plants they're made from like potato starch actually put it under the tap or in water and dissolve it and you can actually use it as food for your plants as well and then the bags the plastic but the, they're not plastic but the cellophane that they've wrapped the bath bombs in when you do order online they're not plastic, they're actually degradable. We've got a recycling program, they've got so many good things. All the packaging's always recyclable. They have some naked stores as well where all the products aren't in any plastic bottles. They help you recycle your plastic bottles. So honestly, look into them. They're a great company, I'm waffling now, but just giving you some backstory on Lush. So let's get into the good stuff here. All of them are intact, which I'm pretty impressed with. I've got royalty. Now it looks like this, it's in like it's a crown. It's this gorgeous. It smells so good. I'm gonna get the descriptions up if they're not already here. The crown, basically, it's got some glitter on it and pink. Um, I've not had issues with glitter washing off of me when I used them. So this one's called Royalty. It says, she, so we'll never be royals, but placing this heady jasmine and sandalwood crown in a warm bath will help us live that fantasy. How cute. Play on words with lyrics. Three different butterflies. I got all three of them. Yes, I know I have problems. So this is the Shijimi butterfly. So it says, land amongst gentle lavender and comforting chamomile blue as this marbled butterfly bath bomb takes you under its wing. How to use dissolve in a hot bath for the butterfly effect. It's this cool blue, like marbled butterfly. So yeah, chamomile and lavender. So this will be great for like just before bed, if you're having a bath before bedtime to like help you go to sleep. Beautiful. Since we're doing the butterflies, I'll do all of them. So next is the lemon butterfly. How pretty is this? So it says drop into a nice hot bath to feel all a flutter with a zesty orange and lemon soak. So yeah, very nice. I'm a sucker for I'm a sucker for any citric lemon type of scents, um, sandalwood, all those kind of gorgeous things. So yeah, a lot of the bath bombs I have, you'll see smell quite similar. The third butterfly I have is rose butterfly. How pretty is this? So gorgeous, it's like blue and pink marbling. It's beautiful. So again, drop into a nice bath, hot bath and relax as a powdery rose and lemon oil perfume infuses your bath water. So this is still lemony, but it's got a bit of rose. So different stuff, different strokes for different folks, but Honestly, I'm so excited to use these butterflies. But yeah, I was a sucker for this. The lemon just smells so good, guys. I wish I could like transfer the scent through the screen. Next, I've got a fun one. And they actually do pretty well with how they turn out. Like I know, you know, sometimes you get what your order is not what you expect, but they actually look okay. So next is the Yo Yokozuna. Yokozuna. <laughs> when there's a heat, heavy weight upon your shoulders, wrestle it off with this fiery fizzer, how to use Dissolve in a hot bath and unwind. So this is a fizzing one. So this is like a sumo wrestler, I take it. So it's, how cute is it? This is so cool. Like some of them I just got because it looks really cool. Some of them I got because they smell amazing. You know, like I just, I just went ham with them. <laughs> I've got some boring ones as well because I'm boring sometimes. <laughs> Next I've got Choco Mint. 
So this one says, enjoy yourself by the tub full in mint chocolate deliciousness with this ice cream inspired treat. My sister's going to try and pinch this for me. She loves mint chocolate stuff. How to use dissolve in the bath for skin softening waters infused with spearmint, cocoa butter and almond oil. Yes, I got this because of the cocoa butter just to make my skin smooth and almond oil. Oh, it smells amazing. And this stuff is really potent. The smells of stuff so potent smells amazing so i've got a fun one this is the comforter the comforter bath bomb now if you are a lush fan or a lush aficionado you probably wear the comforter as a bath bomb which i am we've made a bath bomb version so fizzing fast to create fruity foam of purple pink and white this cloud like ball of cassis will help you unwind before you hit the hay how to use this oven a warm bath for comfort and joy got cassis bergamot oh, recipes for amazingness the shower bomb i've got the strawberry hill shower bomb it's just a little i just dropped it again it's just a little cone or a little strawberry and i've actually got another shower bomb the sleepy one i haven't used it yet because I, I just want to have a little collection i haven't used it but i have heard through the grapevine that these a little goes a long way and it makes heaps of foam so just chop them steamy with this luxurious one-off shower treat how to use foam up under the water in your hand and sweep the strawberry sheet sweet pink mousse all over your body to gently cleanse so it's like a soap but it foams it foams a lot though i think this is a great option for people who don't have baths or have access to baths like every day not that goodness but you just don't have a bathtub shower bomb fantastic and this is a lot more realistic for me because i use a shower like every day right getting back in with this so that was my only non-bath bomb product next is a fun one now this one i've kind of promised it to my sister because she is obsessed with this item <laughs> so this is sushi this is, is literally just called sushi how cool is that guys how cool is this it's literally like a roll a piece of sushi this is so cool so my sister has claimed it dibs on this she reckons so roll into the bath for this naughty but rice treat how to use dissolve in warm water and soak for skin that feels soy good so this one's got soy in it basically i'm taking the website says a moisturizing middle sits in the center of this bath bomb melting into the water to hydrate your skin while zesty brazilian orange and sicilian mandarin oil will leave you feeling soy good oh i get it soy sushi soy <laughs> sample which is nice rose argan soap this one i've got looks amazing in the tub this is called goddess now it doesn't look like much in this packaging but it's got like a hole at the bottom it's purple but it's glittery it's so pretty it's like iridescent like it's gorgeous purple and it says pop in a hot tub to but to bathe like a goddess um jasmine heavily scent jasmine absolute seduces you into lilac and silver waters pictures of this look stunning while the darkness of oud and the richness of sandal would keep you there lingering a little longer precious ingredients for a true goddess lifting your mind to a higher plane Oh, this sounds amazing. Jasmine, sandalwood, oud. Oh. Mm. Mm. Going back into my goodness. I've got a kind of simple one as well. Um, oh, this one looks like an orange and it's got like a little tag thingy. So this one's called Yuzu and Coco. Swells of citrus collide with waves of chocolate in this fast fizzes wake, unleashing a tide of sweet comfort how to use drop into a bath to fill your zest. This is a very zesty one. So Uzi and Coco. Smells nice. Smells nice. Looks cool. It has cocoa, tonka, grapefruit and bergamot oils. I've got this fun one here. This one I saw on the Lush Instagram and I checked my order and I had it. And I was like, so glad I've got this one. This one's called Hi Ho Silver. And it says rice from sterling waters bejeweled and dazzling as it dissolves. This luster filled bath bomb releases a reflective silver sheen that dances across the surface of the water. Can't see it in this packaging, but uh, actually you might be able to. So it's purple and it's got silver, blue glitters and reflect. And then in the center, the bottom, it's got this hexagon stamp and it says AG, which is the name for silver. So it's covered in like silver glitter and you basically put it in your bathtub and the purple seeps out but the silver like bubbles on top oh my gosh it's stunning so let's tell you what this smells like because some of them they've put really cool descriptions but they haven't told you what it smells like and i'm terrible at describing scents as we know at the bottom has got a bath melt from cocoa and out al cocoa and almond oil and sheer butter and then like the 
A blend of citrus and olibanum. What the heck is that? Gives light floral fragrance. So it's going to be fragrance, but it's also going to moisturize us. It's, I'm all for. So we've got Yoku High, and this says Reels of Rouge unravel into essential jasmine and cypress. How to use dissolve in a deep, steamy bath after a tiresome day. Oh, this is nice. This is just like their standard shape of bath bomb. It's peach in color, it's a bit speckled. And then at the top, you've got fizzing. You've got like fizzes, you know, like popping candy sort of, but you've got fizzes and you've got some gold. So this is going to be really fun in the bath. It smells nice. A lot of these smell similar because I went for similar scents because I have a type, sorry. Okay, next we have Black Rose. How cool is this? It's black, it's a rose, nothing more to it. A richly romantic Turkish rose and lemon love story with a kiss of conditioning fair trade cocoa butter to leaf skin looking blooming beautiful. How cute is that play on word? How to use dissolve in warm waters for a sweetheart soak. This is cute. Literally got this because of the aesthetic, couldn't care less what it smelled like. It just looks amazing, guys. Sometimes you gotta do things for aesthetics. Got rose, cocoa butter, Sicilian lemon oil, and geranium oil. It's a very floral, hence rose, makes sense. See, all these descriptions are making sense, guys. Fairy Jasmine, oh, how cute is that name? So this one is a, another simple lush bath bomb, just a standard bath bomb with lush stamped on the top. There is, it looks, is there glitter? It looks like there's some speckles. There's some speckles of glitter in it. Oh, it smells so nice. Very heavy jasmine though, and lang lang. A sparkle filled soak of jasmine, vetiver and lang lang lang. I don't know how to say that word vetiver though. I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, dissolve this bath bomb in warm water to remind yourself it's the glitter things in life that count. Yeah, so there's specks of glitter in here. So this is going to be more of a pretty kind of bath bomb and a nice smelling one too. Then last but not least, we have Fairy Trumpet. So I was really having a fairy moment, clearly. And this one looks so cute. It's yellow and it's got like this pink, is it a flower? It looks like a flower, I don't know. It's just super cool, guys. It smells nice. So Popping Candy Crackles. Oh, this is the other Popping Candy one. Like enchanting whispers as rosewood and chamomile work in magical and mesmerizing ethereal harmony. Ugh. Seriously, whoever's making these descriptions really needs a raise. Dissolve in a warm bath and you will believe in fairies. You will. Oh, love it. So chamomile, orange, popping candy. So this is again another fun, entertaining bath bomb as well as the scent. Enough bath bombs to last me literally a lifetime. <laughs> that's the haul, that's the lot. So that's my lush haul. So probably banned from bath bombs for like the rest of the year. Comment below if you picked up any bath bombs. Have you used any of them yet? What did you think? Do we have, did we pick up any of the same ones? Honestly, love to chat guys. I can talk about this kind of stuff all day, every day. If you are not already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And if you're already part of the fam, ring that bell so you don't miss a video. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Really helps a lot, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you back here again. Bye. So you can actually put it in filming, sorry. In this fast fizzes week, unleashing a tide of... Sh <laughs> I'm struggling to read, guys. Did I go to school or what? I'm filming anyway.